Hi, my dear students. Welcome back. It's really a pleasure to have you here. I hope your day is going good. My day is going wonderful. I can feel the keyboard in my fingers. I can even feel the energy right now inside of me wanting to live and live and live, all right? I'm alive, right? So that's what ma matters, right? Well, in this case, you are alive too. You're watching me. So feel good, all right? It's a great day. You're learning something really valuable here, all right? So now on this lecture, we will be creating an index.html page. We're going to be linking to jQuery. We're going to be also linking to Bootstrap and making sure that everything works just right. All right. If you don't know Bootstrap, again, I have a really good course about it for beginners or for actually for developers. And I also have a course in JavaScript, even though that's not it's not the same, same, same thing about jQuery. It will help you understand jQuery a little better. I might have a course in jQuery later on. Not sure yet. So you might want to check on that. I might have it by the time you're watching this. All right. If you don't know it, that's fine. If you don't know jQuery, just follow me and you should be fine. All right. And this course is not about jQuery, so we won't go into details about it, right? Uh, now, those are major tools that every developer should have, right? So just make sure that you have it. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to create a file called index.html, all right? And then here I'm just going to create a simple markup for our HTML5 document and I I'm also using a plugin called Emmet, which helps me write things faster. So E M M E T, Emmet, and that's a plugin for this editor here. A lot of editors have that plugin. So if you are a developer, you can go ahead and look it up online and and find out how to use it. You saw how I did it. I just put a question, uh, exclamation, and tap and bang. All right. I just like teaching you stuff. Every Every minute I get, I like teaching you stuff. So make sure you grab all that information in your brain and, and write it down too. Don't forget. So I'm going to go to the jQuery download section there. I'm going to actually, let's link Bootstrap first. So let's link this first one here, this first link. And that's in the, you can see the URL here, getbootstrap.com. And the next one is this one here, jQuery. Let's just make sure that jQuery is below this. All right, perfect. So now the next step is for us to check this out to see if it works, right? You just got to make sure that it works. I'm going to save it with my keyboard, Control S or Command S. And let's write some jQuery here. Let's put our script tags for JavaScript. If you don't, jQuery basically is a library for JavaScript just to make things easier for us to write. And it has a whole bunch of functionality. Well, you should probably know that already. So let's just create a simple function here from jQuery and just make sure that our, this is this whole thing is working, right? Alright, so the document that read is gonna help us do that. And I'm just gonna alert something in the screen and just gonna say this is great. Alright. Perfect. There we go. Refresh. I saved my document and I get this. This is great. So that means jQuery is actually working. This is beautiful, right? We got it working our, our, in our first try. So anyways, if you got this done, great. If you didn't, don't worry about it. I'll wait for you. Well, actually, I won't wait for you. You can just pause the video and, and you know, copy it yourself. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. I hope it was enjoyable for you as it was for me. And I'll see you in the next one, right? Take care.